So it's so excited, assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today we're reviewing a Davidoff. I was gonna review the Double Diamond from Monte Cristo, but I really feel like I need to have a hundred percent day to review that. I don't want to like you know waste a cigar that uh, our president has sent over graciously. So I want to wait for a good day where my palates are very clean, something like that to smoke this cigar. So today I smoke this one. The Davidov uh, Blend Bourbon Experience 2022 sent over from uh, Midnight Cigars, Eric. And this literally don't have a lot of information, but we'll take a closer look real quick. Davidov Blend Bourbon Experience 2022 exclusive, obviously made for Davidoff Blend Lounge or Blend Lounge for Davidoff. Released in 2022, cigar is $50 each. So in the pack of four online there's not much information from the size of it it looks like a 6x50 or 6x52 toro the front foot looks kind of pressed and the rest is round there's not much information other than that it's a natural cigar and it's meant to pair with willet bourbons but i don't have willet bourbon so we just smoke the cigar as is let's get started so as you can see um there's not much information even the cigar sticker has no information yep there is nothing so all we know is is it natural but it smells like a that um like a dominican nicaraguan blend <clears throat> it's got a little bit of that dominican smell it's got a little bit of that dinky nicaraguan smell as well so <clears throat> All right, let's go draw. Well, the draws are loose, I like. <clears throat> ah, woody and citrusy. Like a very artificial orange juice. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, smells are very typical. You know, this almost smells like Sumatra. Very Davidov-esque. Huh. It tastes between a signature and a great grain crew. Kind of flavor this could just be a grand crew to be honest it's woodsy it's dry a little bit floral earthiness 
uh, mineral. Bon yeah. Yep, that's what I got right now. Let me smoke one third. Be right back. <clears throat> okay, one third. Um, tastes like a typical Davidoff. Actually, lighter. To be honest, lighter. Yeah, lighter. Floral wood. A little bit, just a little bit teeny tiny pepper. Earthiness. Maybe a little bit of some sort of coffee latte kind of taste. This is like something that I would smoke like between cigars, not not necessarily like, not really pair with like bourbon or anything. It's kind of light. I don't know. We'll see. Second half. Well, second third. Be right back. Oof. Second third. Tastes like a regular Davidoff. I don't even know what to say. Can we just like, this is a Davidoff review for Grand Crew or Anniversario. It just gets lighter too. It's a lighter version. Cross between. Like at first I thought it was going to be like signature. But that, that flavor just went away. So it's not even there anymore. So it's between an anniversary and a grain group. Why are you selling for that? 50 bucks? It's actually lighter too. Everything's lighter. Everything's light about the cigar. It's like a Davidoff but lighter. $50? Why? Why? I mean, I don't even need to show you guys the band, the bands, and the Davidoff band. I actually think this band is backwards. I don't know why I feel like that. Let me see. <clears throat> no, it's not. Why do I feel it's backwards? Anyways, it's just regular standard Davidoff band. Nothing special about it. Blaster, I'm pretty sure it's gonna finish like a lighter Davidoff again. So let's finish up and go straight to it. I'm kind of disappointed that I got 50 bucks, really. Be right back. All right, finished. <sighs> this is just a typical Davidoff. You can just you'll get the same experience. Either get a Grand Cru or Anniversario, and and get a better experience. To be honest with you, so. R L Luster is roughly the same flavor. There's almost no different. It feels like they just tweaks the, the ratio and then release as is. So in terms of price, 12 bucks. 12 bucks. A standard mm, Davidoff at a certain I I I'm lost. Davidoff's between 15 and 18, but I think this is about $12 because it's lighter. It's not as enjoyable. It's not as Pungent is not. It it tastes like a between cigar to me. It's so light. There's nothing to it. So, uh, twelve bucks is where it is. Yeah, I can. I can't give any higher. A good thing this is uh, a free cigar. So, ah, uh, I was. I had a great hope for Davidoff, but at the same time, unless it's a really specialty Davidoff, they don't really make anything that's that particularly different for any shop. It's just a tweak of the ratio to make it slightly different. Yeah, disappointing. Disappointing, okay? But yeah, that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and also check out our podcast, check out our uh, swag, and check out membership. And uh, I'm going on a trip soon, so uh, membership will give to see some of the shop in Taiwan, the cigar stuff in Taiwan, okay? And I look forward to it. And that will be it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.